Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So traders, I uh, want to do just a quick market update for you guys. Just looking at the indices in silver and gold. What's next for these markets? And then also what I want to do is I want to share with something with you that I think is really, really important. How the long-term picture is so important sometimes to the current present of what's really going on technical wise, right? A technical analysis wise. And I'm gonna share with you how trend lines, how drawing trend lines and how looking at the big picture, how trend lines that could start from literally, you know, many, many, many years ago can come and can come to an effect today and why it's so important to be looking at that bigger picture when you're trying to look at your charts. Look at that bigger picture to see where it's at and we'll see if there's any long-term major support lines there. And I'm gonna share examples with you with the S&P 500 and also, uh, also some of the actual, the, the silver and gold mining stocks as well too. S-I-L-S-I-L-J. So, uh, so before I start guys, if you haven't done so yet, then you, you can grab my brand new or my, my trading course that I've got there. Uh, you can just grab it for $7. Or if you would like to get access to the Master Trader Lab, you can get access to the Master Trader Lab for free. Uh, there's a free trial there. You can get access to the trading course plus a whole whole a stack of other trading courses. And also it's only $6.99 per month and you can cancel any time. Now let's go have a look at the, uh, we'll look at silver and gold here. What's happening with silver and gold? So this is the, this is what's happening here with gold, right? So gold is pretty much just really flattening out here, right? And, and this was expected because by looking at gold, we pretty much expected because we had such a big run up. This is the daily chart here sort of just a rounding, rounding sort of head and shoulder formation. Now, I don't believe that this is, it, it's really, really interesting, right? Because this could be possible shoulder head. And look at this here, right? Look at this, all these things through here. If we do get a breakdown, it's probably going to be very, very, very short-lived. Now, why is that? When I say short-lived, it may get a little bit of, a little bit of follow-through like that. But because, that lo because of that longer-term chart is very, very bullish, that any pullback through here is probably likely to be short-lived. Why? Because that weekly trend is up. So that 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 major the, the the actual the the majority or the the big picture trend is up. So that small picture, if we look at a pullback through here, it's probably likely to be short-lived because we're going against that against that weekly chart. Makes sense. So that's what I'm seeing there right now with gold. So even if we do get a bit of a drop down, guys. I don't expect it to be the end of the world. <laughs> and same with silver as well too, right? We're dropping down through here, bit of a sideways movement. Once again, even if we do get a bit of a pullback, if we have a look at the uh, the trend lines here that I've got, right, let's have a look, uh, let's go this one here. Right, so you can see that pretty much that's through there. Uh, let's go down to the SLV price here for a minute. What have I got here? All right, let's go back to that, that silver there. So you can see, right, we see, even if we do get a bit of a short term pullback, guys, it's it's going to be it's probably likely to be short lived before we start another big bull run. So that's what I'm seeing there right now, guys, on silver and gold. Looking at the Dow Jones, or it's just let's just let's look at the S and P 500. S and P 500, pretty much just going sideways through here. Not really much happening. Happening. If we go to the Dow Jones, same sort of thing, right? Um, just a very 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 sideways movement. But again, I wouldn't be too surprised. I wouldn't be too surprised. There's probably a lot of stops all the way up here. Um, it's probably a lot, a lot of stops uh, up there. So, um, so I, I, I wouldn't be too surprised to see this market probably break up to all-time new highs and then go for a run. So that's what I'm looking at there, guys, with the with the indices itself. Um, but with that being said, guys, with that being said, like there's plenty, there's, there's, there's a lot of really good trading opportunities out there, right? So if I look at, say, for example, one stock that I got on my radar right now is Facebook. I'm liking Facebook of what's actually going on right now. We just pretty much have been, pretty much just been doing nothing through here. So if we can get some sort of nice up candle through here, and let me go back to, let's see if I can bring up, no, not that one. This one here, all right? So what I'm looking at here, right? We're looking at the last, say, six months, right? Or the last, say, three months. There we go, that's better. Right, as you can see, right, pretty much nothing going on through here, through Facebook. We had a run up and had all this pullback here with small bars. So I'm looking at possibly, if we get if we can get a nice break above that level through there, as you can see. Uh, what's that there? No, yeah, so a nice little break above that level. If we get a very nice break up through there, 
Um, and it's and it's a very big increase in volume. There's a very high probability chance we're probably likely to run back up towards this two o probably this two o five level before it finds resistance, and maybe even continue back up towards the ultimate high, which is up through here. So that's what I'm looking at there. We can see this weekly chart here. All right, weekly chart, low, higher low, some sort of higher low. If we can get, we're getting a very nice sideways phase through here right now. I guess what I'm trying to say here, guys, is I'm not, I'm not telling you to trade Facebook, okay? Because there is no guarantees of Facebook actually making a profit. You must understand that, okay? Um, some people still to this day, and you may be there, where you go, oh, I'm going to short the market because I think it's a good idea. Like, no, have a pattern, have a system, have a plan, have something. You know what I mean? Don't just get, oh, well, it's going to crash. Bah, 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 bah. No, all right? No. Um, so I'm just telling you, well, I guess the purpose of me telling this, right, is that there's plenty of opportunities out there, bullish or bearish, without even looking at the S&P 500 and that, okay? Now, let's go have a look at what I wanted to share with you here. There is something uh, There is something called big picture analysis, okay? Big, big, big picture analysis. So if I go, a big picture analysis. So if I go and I bring up, say, this chart right here, okay? And what you want to do is you want to do this generally on a weekly chart, or if you've got a daily chart, you can squeeze your daily chart up as much as possible. But what tends to happen is this, okay? What tends to happen is this, is that if you squeeze your chart up as much as possible, so if I look at my weekly chart here for a minute, actually, all right, so this is my weekly chart here. Look what we have through here, okay? We have, we, we, we look at through here. So when we're, when, we're, when we're drawing on, when we're looking at this here and we're looking at our weekly chart, okay? This is a big, big long-term weekly chart. We can see we can see that these major lows through here, there's a major major low through here, major low through here, and a major low through here. So you've got to ask yourself, how come, how come the market found support here and then ran up? Was it because it was a coincidence that the buyers came in at this time? Or was there something else there? So if I draw a trend line, right? If I just draw a trend line from there and I'm going to connect this low and I'm going to connect that right up, bang, look at that, right? So all I did was connect that low connect this major low here and look at that there look how i mean this is the whole thing right this is the whole this is when the brexit was happening and the election was happening and all this sort of stuff but notice how it just came back through there came up and look what happened nice little high low high low and we continue running out right so a beautiful move to the upside just a very 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 nice move to the upside and so as you can see right now if i if i ex keep extending it out let's actually go back to the daily chart now if I keep extending that trend line out, look at this here. We went back here to the bottom of 2009. Then we found, then we picked up this major low through here. So as you can see, bottom 2009, major low through here. That's where it found major support. And look what happened just recently, right there, smack right on. So you know when we got that sell off late last year, right? How come it actually found support right at that level and then bounced? There's no coincidences there, right? As you can see, this long-term trend line, and as you can see, so if you're just focused on, say, for example, you just, oh, it's come down, come down, come down, and then it finds support, how come it found support there? Oh, look at this big, massive picture here, right? The big picture. Oh, I can see, right? Now, it's not always going to find support, guys, but as you can see, right, just by looking at this level through here, by looking at this here, you can actually start to see that sometimes sometimes or you know when you're looking at the big picture of these stocks and these analysis right the market's going to come into these it's going to come in and it's going to cause a bit of bit of problem there, especially these long term these very long term trend lines through here so let me give you some examples of of uh, uh of uh of some stocks also silver and gold and stuff like that so let me bring this up through here right so i'm going to bring this up through here and let me bring up all right uh, ak BA, I think it was. Yeah, okay. So here is a trade that I actually got stopped out on, right? I actually had, this was a losing trade of mine. And I did not see this at the time. It was actually one of my private clients say, John, did you see this? I'm like, oh, no, crap, I didn't. Um, so anyway, so that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up now uh, this chart here. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up here. So as we can see, if I look at the daily chart, I'm looking at this here, right? This breakout candle here, this, that's that's actually where I went long. And a few days later, I got stopped out for a small loss. So I'm, I, I, was, I was okay with that. But um, so as you can see, right? And I'm like, and so I said, okay, how come it actually stopped and we paused there? Was there something that I missed here? Right? Was there something that I missed here? Because there is something that um, if we have a look at the markets, we can always start to see things. So what we do, right? We look at this weekly chart. 
And the first thing we notice, right, the first thing that um, that we can see, right, is look back here. Notice how we actually had a lot of support back here, All right? So if I draw a trend line, notice how we actually had a lot of support through on the weekly chart, weekly chart support here, weekly chart support here. So if we're looking at this point through here where the daily started to come up, notice how it actually ran straight up to that level through there and stopped, right? Was it a coincidence stop there? No, because it had this weekly... What, what, what do we have? We had this weekly line start to come through and we actually had a, something else coming up just through there as well too. Right? So as we can see, but look what else, right? If I just if I just erase that, look what else came into play, right? So I'll just move that over to another. Look what else came to play. We had this high point through here and look at it. See how it picked it up through there? So we had this high point through. Remember, just like the S&P 500, right? This long-term trend line there. We picked it up. And all we're doing, guys, is we're just trying to identify the major highs. So we did before. On the S&P, we're identifying the major lows because it was in an uptrend. And in the downtrend, we're just trying to identify, and look at this here, look where it paused right there. So if I bring up my daily chart now and squeeze it up, is there a wonder why, is there a wonder why, let's just bring this over here. Is there a wonder why, look at that there, picked it up through there, is there a wonder why it actually found a lot of resistance? This is actually was like X marks the spot, right? So no wonder it was a losing trade. So again, guys, having losing trades is is nothing. It's part of part of the game. Um, so you know, let's actually continue on here. So if we have a look at things like S I L J, right? The S uh, the S I L J. So, but if we look at the S I L J, is there anything here, right? So let's go back over to here. Um, where is that one? Uh, I don't want you on the chart. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, actually, you know what? Let's do this here. I'm just going to use this chart here. Right? So on the SILJ, if we look at this here, right? If we look at this daily chart on the SILJ, notice how on the SILJ, notice how it's just been pretty much doing nothing, right? Now it's sort of high, low, high, low, and now it's starting to really sort of, they call it peter out or starting to slow down here with, with momentum, okay? Now, is there a reason why it stopped here? Is there any reason why it stopped there? Or was it because it just stopped there? Now, what we're looking at here is, okay, what do we do? We go to the weekly chart. And we need, what, do we need, what do we need to do? We need to squeeze that weekly chart up, don't we? Now on this weekly chart, if where is the major support and resistance lines if we had to draw some? All right, so, so see how we actually had a major resistance line coming down through here? That was a major one, wasn't it? And, so, and, and notice how we actually kept rejecting it, rejected it, rejected it, rejected it, rejected it, and now it finally broke through, didn't it? Finally broke through, and now we're out right, where we're at right now. So, but if you look at this here, is there any is there any sort of level through here that you can see that could be a support or resistance to the market? A strong, not just once, but a strong level of support or resistance. And look at this here, right? We have support, 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 support. We had a resistance, we had a resistance through there, right? So as you can see, right, if I draw a trend line from there to there, notice how that level through there was a very, very, very strong level. Why? It wasn't just one, it wasn't just one week because these are weekly bars. Was it? No. What was it? It was many weeks, clusters of weeks around this time here, resistance as well. So therefore, it's a very strong level. So if I bring up this level here now, bam. Is there a wonder why it actually paused there, right? Because now what are we doing? We're actually identifying this major resistance. So if we go up to here, is there a wonder why it stopped there? See how that weekly chart can really, really, really come into play, guys. Uh, it's just, you know, it's 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 one of the one of the best things, guys, about chart reading and stuff that I teach in that trading course that I'm, you know, that that you can get for seven dollars, or you can just get a free access, a free, a free trial to the Master Trade Lab and get that, get the free trading course for free in there. Um, you know, I teach a lot of teach a lot of trading the chart reading techniques because that's what it's all about, right? So as you can see, so if I bring this up here, so that's the S I L J, right? Let's go let's go have a look at the S I L. Was there anything here on the S I L? Right? So this S I L uh yeah. So this S I L chart right now, was there anything here? Remember this let's go to the weekly chart. Okay. So let's go to the daily chart. 
And all, and sometimes, right, all we look at, some a lot of times we're just looking at this here, right, which is important, okay? It's, it's called small picture, big picture, small picture, big picture. So the small picture is we're looking at the small picture now and we're looking for a good entry bar, right? We're looking for a good good time to get in. But it's also important to keep an eye on the big picture. What is the big picture? The weekly chart. And squeeze that weekly chart up. So if you look at that weekly chart, right, if you look at this weekly chart, is there anything, once again, is there anything here that could start to spell, you know what? There could be there could be something here that, to keep an eye out for. So, if you have a look, look at this thing here, right? Same sort of thing that as the SILJ, right? Look at it, look at all that support through there, and it's more of an eye thing, right? More of a, it's right. So this one major support through. If I bring this up through here, notice how that whole area, right? It's not it's it's, it's not an exact level, but how, notice how that area, right? And if I just draw more of a band from there to there. Notice how that sort of area through here, support, support, same sort of as the SIOJ. Notice how there's a lot of support that it became resistance. Notice where we actually found a lot of support here. Now, if you draw, if you go bigger picture, right, real big picture, then look at this. This, I've already pre-drawn these trend lines here, but look at this here. If you go back, if you really look at the big picture, like last 10 years, now look what's happened. Firstly, what do we have? We have this trend line here and this trend line here, right? The start there, the resistance there, and look where it found resistance. But not only that, but look at this major one, this major horizontal one. Did I get that right, horizontal? Yeah, that's vertical, that's horizontal. Um, <laughs> right, look at all this support back here. This is, remember guys, this is a big picture weekly chart through there. So if you identified this level through here being major, both these levels, well, no wonder it paused there, right? No wonder it found up, no wonder it ran and stopped there. So if you go back to this daily chart now and you squeeze this daily chart as much as you can, is there a wonder why it, re reject, it actually went up to that level there, then rejected and had a bit of a pullback? You could, because if you look at that the weekly chart, what are you looking at the weekly chart for? You're looking at that weekly chart to see, okay, is there any area here that's likely to stop this from moving forward in, in my direction? Big, uh, small picture, big picture. Small picture is like, for me personally, I like to look at say, say six, sometimes even three months, and I'm trying to find a good entry candle for me, right, based on my plan. But then on that weekly chart, it's important to keep an eye on those real long-term picture, because as you can see from the S&P, SIL, SILJ, and probably other markets as well too. Uh, let's see if we can go through to, um, you know, same, same, for, same for the GDXJ, right? Look at this here. Look at this major, major, major resistance through here. Same through there. And the GDX as well too, right? Look at this GDX. Mate, look at the, G, the GDX. Why did it stop? Why did it stop here? Look at all that resistance there, resistance there, major resistance there. Is there a wonder why it actually stopped right there? Again, this is the weekly chart. Go to the daily chart on the GDX. And again, stair step up, stair step up. And so if you're looking, if you're not, if you're not looking at the bigger picture, you would have no, you would have, you would have no clue. You would have no clue that right here is a major resistance level from that long term chart. And then we start to back off. So this is really, really, really important guys to your success in the markets, as you can see, right, by identifying this. What are we, what are we all doing here? We're just making sure this is another tool you can add that's going to give you a much higher win loss ratio in your trading, right? Just like the trade that I took this week. Um, well, actually last week, was a losing trade. Why was a losing trade? Because of this one thing. And that's the reason I'm sharing it with you. Um, again, because I have good risk management and it was a small loss, it's, it was it was neither here or there. I didn't really care, right? Um, I had, I got out, by the way, I got out of a trade today. It was such a beautiful trade. Anyway, um, really nice profitable trade. But the, the purpose is, guys, is that to share with you, right? It's this long-term stuff that we're looking at here. Okay, long-term stuff that you're looking at there. And what we're doing here is we're just making sure that when we do get into a trade that either A, we're not at these major levels here, or either B, we're probably know where it's likely to run to. Makes sense? So if you're breaking out and you've got a bit of space between that and a major long-term level, well, you probably know where it's likely to run to, right? And when it does get to that level, you're not gonna be greedy. You're like, you know what? Yes, I've had a good run and the market has run in my direction and we're now probably likely to get a bit of a pause here. Now's the time to probably take some take take it off the table if you're a trader. If you're an investor, guys, this has nothing to do with you guys. You know what I mean? Like, you know, people, people that are investing, meaning buy and hold long-term um, in silver and gold, this has nothing to do with you, okay? Now, just remember, guys, when you're investing in silver and gold, you must understand that that there's pullbacks, there's whipsaws. 
you know, and all that sort of stuff. If I go and have a look at the, if I go and have a look at, oh man, if I bring up the daily chart here on silver and gold, okay. Oh, where'd that, where'd that chart go? It disappeared on me. Where are you? There we are there. Right, we've got all the charts everywhere, right? If you go back and have a look at times, okay, I want you to prepare yourself for what is likely to come with silver and gold. Um, so if you go back here in time, right, look at this here. This was a big bull market, right? Look at this big bull market, but this is over years, guys, right? Years. In a big, even, even within a big bull market, what do you get, right? This is one, two, three years, right? Longer. Even in a big bull market, what do you get? You still get what? Look at this here. Run up, pull back, run up, pull back, run up, pull back, run up, pull back, run up, pull back. Right, this pull back here is, is what? Probably six months, run up, pull back. But then guess what happens? Whenever, and this is where you wanna be careful, right? Notice how we this was very nice, smooth. And then we started getting what? Vertical action. We got a double top and then we got a fast drop. That's the reason why you don't wanna see some vertical action um, in the markets, right? You just want a nice moving swim. So. If you're investing in silver and gold and you're holding for the next five or five or so years um, and you have that, just expect this sort of action to happen, right? Expect it to go for a good run for a few months and then for a few months or maybe two or three months or four months, it, it does nothing. And then it goes, does, does, does another run and then it does nothing. It does not, like, don't be, don't think that, don't ever think that, oh, this is going to keep going straight up. It's going to go to the moon. Over now. Makes sense? Um, so... So that's basically what you want to do there, guys. Okay, you want to make sure that you are doing that and you are going through that process there. And just it's what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just a, I'm just giving you the reality of it. Okay, if you're long-term buy and hold, just be smart. If you're trading the markets, be smart as well too. So I hope this helps you out, guys. Guys, if you're interested in becoming a private client of mine, if you're interested in, in me coaching you every single week and every single day with me sharing with my trades and so on and so forth, then very first thing in the description, I'm running a web class today. I've got a few spots left open. Go click on that. Go join the web class. On the web class, one, I'm going to share with you exactly my simple system that I use. You can start to use right now in your trading to start to do that. And secondly, if you want me coaching you every single week and every single day, then I'm going to talk, then I, at the end of that presentation, I'm going to tell you exactly what that's all about and how you can apply or how you can get access to that as well too. So click on the link, click on that link in the description below right now, guys, go get, go get, go join and go go check that out because I'm because I'm about to actually close down the coaching program so go do that right now guys and I'll see you soon